Now this past weekend, fans all around the world were finally able to see Hamilton with its original cast. And it turns out one of those cast members, born and raised right here in Detroit. His name is Sidney James Harcourt. And not only was he a member of the ensemble, he was also an understudy for several key characters and helped workshop on many of those roles while the show was off Broadway. And here is a taste of his amazing talent. All right, here is the man himself, Sidney James Harcourt. Thank you so much for joining us today. Now, so you, you uh, I love the shirt, God Hamilton. Uh, so you grew I saw up, you lip syncing. Yeah, uh, well, actually, <laughs> that last song, oh man, I was playing it all day yesterday. You can ask the folks around here. Um, you know, uh, so you grew up here in Detroit. Did you know you always wanted to be in the, uh, in the theater? I mean, ideally, that's where I, I wanted to live in that technicolor world. I saw, um, when I was four in Detroit, I saw uh, Singing in the Rain on, um, on TV, and I just couldn't believe that was real. And I was like, people can do that. I want to do that. Um, I didn't really have a concept of, like, big Broadway shows in theater as a kid growing up in Detroit. That seemed really far away. But um, my passion for, you know, musicals and, you know, just the genre kind of led me there. Well, how did you get your start? I mean, not just on Broadway, but I mean, what did you do here in Detroit that set you on that path uh, once you got into school? I mean, did you start acting locally? Uh, well, honestly, um, in uh, high school, I, um, sang, I started singing in choir um, in eighth grade and ninth grade. And that got me some attention from my music teachers. And... Um, I auditioned for a Michigan school here called Interlochen Arts Academy, mm -hmm. and the Skillman Scholarship Foundation in Detroit gave me the opportunity to go there. I never would have been able without them, and that really, that changed my life, uh, being able to, like, study in a place that was so serious with, um, you know, music theory, and I learned to dance there. I had never danced at all, and it really kind of built my confidence in a way that um, carried me through the rest of my career. Oh, that is amazing. Now, uh, while you were a member of the uh, cast, what would you say was the uh, most exciting part of uh, being a part of the cast? I mean, I mean, it's, it's an amazing uh, opportunity to be a part of something like Hamilton. I think, you know, when, when you're first getting into it, you're just excited to share this amazing art that has moved you so much with everybody else. You can't wait for that to happen. And that's so exciting to be in a show that you feel like makes a difference. So many things that we're in go completely unnoticed, you know, in the little back corners of off Broadway. But then the most exciting part became like this journey it was taking you on. I mean, to meet the Obamas three times and have them come watch your work and have all of the A-list stars you watch in movies and on TV come to talk to you about, oh my God, this moment when you did this or when you did that. I mean, Meryl Streep, I was standing in my robe backstage and she was like, oh, you were amazing and came in through her arms around me and I just was like, oh, like what is happening? Um, it was like one exciting moment after the next and it's really hard to like quantify them. I mean, it sounds incredible. Now, I know they uh, did the filming over several days. What was it like filming? I mean, obviously multiple cameras there. I mean, that's a yeah. different uh, situation on Broadway. It is. Um, I had had some TV experience, you know, prior to that, which really came in handy to be aware of where the cameras are and to know that, you know, you're not necessarily playing for 2000 people tonight. You're also have to be aware that you're playing for this, you know, smaller screen. Um, but the, the process, it was a crazy time in a crazy journey. We had just finished doing the Tony Awards and all of the rehearsals that lead up to that and the extra performances. And then we did our week of shows. And during that week, I was playing Aaron Burr and George Washington 
and my ensemble track at times. I think I had two Aaron Burr shows and one George Washington show, then my ensemble track. So I'm playing my ensemble track in the movie, but then going to work at night and playing Aaron Burr. And um, so that was crazy. Um, but it just was, you knew you were doing something that was hopefully going to last forever. So you just keep pushing, you know? You know, I, I do have... I do have to wrap, but uh, obviously Aaron Burr, a fantastic role. One of the best roles in that production is Aaron Burr. In the Burr. canon. Oh, in the canon of the musical theater. And to be able to take it over after Leslie, after the amazing Leslie Odom Jr., was a blessing. And I just can't believe that here we are. Well, here we are indeed. Sydney James Harcourt, thank you so much for joining us. And we should point out to everyone uh, that you are here in Michigan. Uh, you're right now uh, over in Washtenaw County. Uh, where can people find you if they want to track your career and your work? Uh, SydneyHarcourt.com is my website. You can catch me on Instagram at Sydney Harcourt or on Twitter at Sydney Harcourt. All right, Sydney, <laughs> thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day, and we'll be watching your career. Bye, everybody.